What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch and today I'll be doing an overview of this uh, Fisheye 2 Lomography camera. I'm going to be going over the features of this camera and then I'm going to end the video uh, with a couple of pictures that I've taken with this camera. This is very cam a very fun camera to use and it retails for only around $50 uh, if you, you know, shop around. So this is the, it's not actually the, the follow up to the Fisheye 1 camera because they still sell the Fisheye 1. Um, it's just an addition to the lineup of Lomography cameras that they are selling right now. It has a fisheye lens, so it's almost 180 degrees. I don't think it's quite 180 degrees, but it's uh, close to that. Um, here's your lens cap, which is rubber, as you can see, and it has Lomography in the front of it. Here you have a flash um, on and off switch. So if you turn it right, your flash turns on. And you will want to use a flash whenever you're indoors or whenever there's... Um, whenever it's a dimly lit situation because uh, the settings of this camera is 1 100th of a second at f8 so if you don't have really fast film and if there's not enough light you will want to turn that flash on for fill so you can get you know some really cool effects up here you have the viewfinder which you can remove and it's not a very accurate viewfinder but it does look pretty cool I usually don't keep that on there because it I find it uh, I find that it slips off a lot of the time so I'd rather not lose it than keep it on there. Um, so that's the viewfinder. Here you have the flash itself. Um, here you have the shutter button. You have three modes. You have lock, which just locks the shutter button. You have normal, which is the 1 100th of a second at f8. And you have bulb, which will shoot at f8, but you can actually hold it as long as you want. Um, in the back you have the film advanced knob and you have the double exposure so what the double exposure does is if you um, take a picture and you want to have a double exposure all you have to do is move move this um, this little tab and you will um, when you move it you'll hear a sound and you will be able to take another picture over the same exposure without actually advancing your film so that's pretty cool um, on the right you have the the I don't know what this is called. You have the, you know, the attachment for the hand strap, which is on there the whole time. I haven't even bothered taking it off because I don't feel the need to. Um, here you have your film rewind knob on the upper left. And here on the left, you have the switch to open the film compartment. And you just pull it down and it opens up. And it's very simple to um, put film in there. I think it's pretty obvious. If you guys want me to give a demonstration on how to put the film inside, uh, just let me know. But lately I've been using uh, the Lomography uh, 400 ASA film because I can get this uh, very easily at Urban Outfitters, which is really close to uh, where I'm staying. So that's why I you know, am using this instead of another you know, cheaper expired film out there. And that's basically it for this camera. I think I've went through all the features. All right, here in the bottom you have your compartment for the battery. But I think that's basically it. So let's go through everything really quickly. You have your lens, which is a fisheye lens. I think it's an eight millimeter or 16 millimeter. I'm not actually quite sure. Uh, you have your three modes, lock, normal, and bulb. You have your film advance. You have the double exposure knob, your film rewind. You have your film compartment flash on and off switch, you have your viewfinder, and you have your flash, and you have your double A battery compartment. And that's it for the overview. Again, I'm going to end this video with a bunch of pictures that I've taken with this camera. And if you want to see more, uh, tell me if you want a video dedicated to how to put the film in and, you know, more pictures from the fisheye. I'm Nico of Camp Crunch and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video, favorite this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and the social links will be down below. Peace.